Hey folks, welcome back here to the Vegas Don Channel. We're here off of Cary, C-A-R-E-Y. We're about to make a right and go westbound on Cary. Right here. We're gonna bring us up here to Hollywood Boulevard. Car reads 93 degrees outside. It's It feels a lot warmer than that, but uh, we'll go ahead and uh, this light should be turning any second now on this Saturday afternoon here on the northeastern part of Las Vegas. Cary Avenue and Hollywood Boulevard for our friends following along at home. And we finally got the green light here at Hollywood, so we'll make a right and go northbound on Hollywood. When EDC comes here, which is the Electronic Daisy Carnival, Electronic Day for uh, Electronic Daisy Music here in I think it's May, April or May, something like that. It comes here. Um, a lot of folks that stay down on the strip will take buses as part of their package, their uh, lodging package, if you will, and they will take these buses all the way out here to the uh, South Gate here at Nellis Air Force Base, and they'll bypass a lot of the traffic over on Las Vegas Boulevard heading out to Las Vegas Motor Speedway, which is where the carnival is held. It's uh, essentially a huge electronic music festival with all sorts of DJs and etc. playing out there. It's really cool. I've never been. It's very expensive to get out there. Nothing I can afford. New home, zero down. But what's your interest rate gonna be? Tour models daily. New homes from the 400s. That's $400,000 US for our international viewers. These homes here on our right. Some of them have balconies. You got a pretty good view of uh, Las Vegas and maybe even the Strip. Here at the Dalton, I guess it's called, Dalton. See those homes there are uh, still under construction. Got the uh, plaster out there, the stucco, and the tiles for the roof. They're getting put up. And then you have open desert here on our right, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time before that gets developed. This sign here actually says, be, be prepared to stop right in front of us, but uh, yeah, it hasn't. Uh, been taken care of that one right there. <laughs> a little bit faded. Faded. And this is that aforementioned South Gate here at Nellis Air Force Base. Right in front of us. We will go ahead and make a left here. This is actually the eastern edge of Cheyenne Avenue, but as you can see, it does not connect with its namesake, which is a major east-west artery here running across the north part of Las Vegas through the heart of North Las Vegas itself, the city of North Las Vegas. You have these little neighborhoods up here and then you have this uh, little swale uh, right up here with the chain link fence bordering Nellis Air Force Base. here for a moment because I do want to show you what we can from here and that is that the main air traffic control tower for Nellis Air Force Base and the Nellis Air Force Base itself is all out there so if you've ever served out here this is a good chance to see what it looks like today probably doesn't look all that different I wouldn't imagine and then the uh the speedway is actually blocked right now. We can't see it because of that building there. Let's see if we can get that building out of the way. And that's where the uh, the races are held, of course, NASCAR races. I think there's two of them every year for NASCAR that are held out there, as well as the Electronic Daisy Carnival. Let's see if we can get that building out of the way there. The building that I'm trying to get out of the way actually says Thunder on it. See if I can get that in the uh, in the zoom there. 
Yeah, not really. But it does, and the windows there towards the top of the roof, the apex of the roof, it says uh, Thunder. And then out there is Las Vegas Motor Speedway, with all those banners and signs out there, that sort of thing. But there's no connection here unless they open up this south gate, which only happens once a year when they have the uh, electronic daisy carnival out here. We'll go ahead and make a right. No drone zone, it says, out here. Starting to see a lot more of those signs pop up all over town. With all the restrictions for drones, I know a lot of people like to do it, but for me, it's just not even worth it, because there's a lot of air traffic in this town too. You got the the airport, the main airport, the main airport, the main airport, of course, the Air Force Base out here, and then you also have the tourist helicopters that uh, carry folks out back and forth all day, every day, out to the Grand Canyon, Hoover Dam, etc. And so those. Uh, All that air traffic here in this little, oh, I mean, it's not so little, but it's still pretty congested, comparatively speaking. Certainly nothing like New York or anything like that. But this is Ulta. We're passing, actually. Make me make a right here on the Sprinkle Avenue. Let's make a right on the Sprinkle. And then that curves around here. So you have this little neighborhood here, no outlet to the left. It's nice to actually have a sign up saying that. Starting to get that uh, western setting sun there. Look at that, that's a Mazda RX-7, I believe. An old RX-7. Yep. And they've got it uh, decked out like a little race car. That's cool. I think that's the, uh, the old rotary engine in that thing. Never get to see those anymore. This semi here, or box truck on the left, is for sale. We continue westbound here on Evening Rain Avenue. Such a delightful sounding road. Evening Rain Avenue. Looks like we curve to the left here, go southbound where evening rain becomes morning rain. And we've got hazel water right here. Which brings us out here to Schatz, S-H-A-T-Z, for our friends following along at home. And we'll make a loud sort of correction, a right. I see a lot of solar panels in this town. There's just so many rules attached to the solar panels. Like when you go to sell your house and stuff, the person that uh, is buying it, the solar company has to approve that person or whatever. And just all sorts of all sorts of unneeded stress attached to it that I wouldn't want to deal with in my humble opinion. I'd rather buy my own system and put it up. But I don't know enough about it to do that yet. So I follow a couple of groups on uh, social media to uh, try and learn as much as I can. But not having an electrical background doesn't help. But there's no way I'm paying twenty-five, thirty-five, forty thousand dollars <laughs> for a solar system, a solar panel system. I got a buddy of mine down in Henderson, he's got a, uh, um, a Tesla, a couple of Tesla panels. He loves them. Maybe one day, but I want to be able to uh, own them myself. I don't want to share that ownership myself, in my humble opinion. This is Mount Hood Street. We've done some videos of our time on Mount Hood. Feel free to check those out in our library. right here onto Casa Loma Avenue. It's 
show you the changing neighborhood. So certainly a very uh, established neighborhood here, very mature neighborhood. Try and keep the sun out of a lot of these shots. And you have an RV here for sale. Looks like a Walter White mobile there. I try not to make it a point when I'm driving down some of these streets when people are out on them. I try not to make it a point of uh, saying, you know, showing my phone, indicating that I am in fact recording. It's not nice to do that, I don't think so. I just put it back up on the uh, bracket. My wife puts it back on the bracket. So these homes here, all of these homes in this area are gonna have a lot of noise from the uh, fighter jets running their sorties out at Nellis, being this propinquitous to Nellis Air Force Base. They're gonna have a lot of noise. This is Edgemere Way. We're gonna make a right onto Edgemere, show you the rest of the area up here. This is Castlemont. Right here, there's an old Corvette right there. Ooh, look at that. Is that a Chevelle or a 442? That's a good looking little car there. Blast from the past. I think it's an Oldsmobile. I think it's an old 442. Old 442. That's cool. Now the car says 117 degrees. Look at this, you got a little go-kart here. I hope they're not driving that around on the street. And I certainly hope there's not a child driving that around on the street, because that's dangerous. You can't even see them. And I'm not sure what this is. Is this a pirate mobile? Dark Shark, this is called. Huh. That's uh, very unusual. <laughs> you see it all. You know, that's the thing in Las Vegas. You never know what you're going to see. Expect the unexpected. Another uh, license uh, missing from a car there. You never know what you're going to see in this town. But I'm happy to be here to watch it with you. is going to curve into something called Two Nights Drive. Two Nights. Like in Chess Nights. There's another old vehicle. An old, looks like Chevy maybe? Or maybe a GM in there? Bluehurst Avenue. We're going to make a left here onto Bluehurst. Careful in here, there's a lot of vehicles parked in through here. And it looks like someone made a homemade sign here indicating that uh, they want you to go to the left. Because that is not a government sign, I don't believe. Got a little uh, taco trailer, food trailer there, looks like. These folks have a lot of uh, different equipment. Sun. And then you got these newer homes over here on the northern side of the street, opposed to these other more established homes on the south side of the street, mobile, mobile homes it looks like. That's the one thing about these older neighborhoods though, you, you, you tend to see a lot of older vehicles that you don't get to see anymore. here on Blue Hill Avenue, westbound. And we want to take a moment to say thank you all so very, very much for joining. We really appreciate each and every single one of you. Please like if you haven't already. It helps recommend us to other viewers on the channel. And it also helps recommend us to the algorithm. And the algorithm is the almighty, all-knowing uh, 
being that uh, carries the weight of your voice to other people, other viewers. So please do like, follow, share, and subscribe. Also, check out our merch available, the Vegas Don logo on top of the Las Vegas Strip skyline, available on the shop section of our YouTube channel. We have the holiday season coming up, maybe something for yourself or your significant other. And as always, remember here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey. We'll see you next time, folks. Thanks for cruising with us.